brothers and sisters in Christ. It's very difficult to find any kind of satisfactory response to express the feelings we have after seeing the video footage of the moments leading up to the horrific murder of George Floyd in the United States. The whole combination of events is deeply and horrifyingly wrong and as more reports come in of all that has followed since I become aware of just how much more there is for me and so many of us to learn from those who have had to endure the injustices of institutional racism and racism in any form. It's true in the UK as well as around the world and sadly in the church as well as in other parts of society. Listening and reflection may be preferable to speaking for some of us at this time but I do want to share a statement that has been put out by the Baptist Union of Great Britain and then a prayer with you. This statement is from Baptists Together core leadership team. Like many in this country and across the world we have been appalled and horrified by the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis by state police. We grieve with his family and community over his brutal mistreatment and the flagrant disregard for his humanity. We recognise that his inhumane treatment is symptomatic of a deeper devaluing of black lives, in particular black men, and that his death has tapped into generations of anger and frustration as the result of symptomatic, systematic brutality and discrimination. We therefore completely understand the protests which have swept the United States as a natural and right consequence to this tragic injustice. But we hope and pray at this dangerous but pivotal moment, not only in the US but in global history, that this will provide the urgent impetus to redress the social inequalities that has caused so much outrage. The dream, inspired by the legacy of Dr Martin Luther King, has yet to be fulfilled. But we commit to working with good people of all persuasions to see it realised, not only in the US but wherever injustice manifests itself in this world. His reminder that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere is a rallying call to action because we are all affected by this tragic event. All people of all races and faiths have the right to breathe. Furthermore, we were also dismayed by the use of force to disperse a peaceful protest outside the White House to facilitate a political photo opportunity in front of a neighbouring church. We strongly believe that these attempts to co-opt the church and the scriptures are incompatible with the Christian values at the heart of the gospel. We thus would urge the President and people of America to draw once again on the foundational values enshrined in the Declaration of Independence that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all people are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. In the light of this timeless statement, Unlawfulness, inhumanity and injustice can never be right outcomes. As the core leadership team of Baptists together, we are conscious of our privilege. All except one member of this team are at the present time ethnically white. We too accept that there are structural inequalities within our own denomination and that we must work harder to address them. While we cannot all personally understand the anger which many are feeling, having not experienced the routine discrimination faced by black, Asian and minority ethnic peoples, we stand in solidarity as we fight against racism and oppression in all its forms. Dissent is deeply embedded in Baptist DNA and in this instance we are strongly supportive of freedom of expression 
and a plurality of views and conversely stand against institutions which persecute and oppress. We call our churches to prayer and action as we continue to seek God's kingdom in this country and across the world, holding a vision of a just, right and enduring peace, shalom, between all peoples. Micah chapter 6 verse 8 he has told you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. Let's pray. Messiah, majestic King, Creator, ruler of the land and everything that dwells within it, we praise your holy name, for there is none like you in all the earth. You created us each uniquely in your image and likeness, in all shapes and sizes and complexions. We pray with faith and belief that you will heal our lands of the infectious disease of racism and prejudice that targets many even today, and we especially pray for the dreadful pain and injustice of the situation in Minneapolis and how it affects us all right now. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Help us to work, not to participate in any prejudiced acts or thoughts or words against any of our brothers and sisters. Help us to clear our minds of all negative thoughts against anyone. Help us to work to free ourselves of actions that bring racial injustice that cause anyone bondage. Help us to break every chain. Remove all separation that we allow to be caused by skin colour in our lands. Help us to work to live in peace and harmony with one another. Remind us that we are all created equally and we are all children of your mighty kingdom. Help us to choose to be meek and humble, for these are the ones who will inherit the earth. There is neither Jew nor Greek, neither is there enslaved or free. There is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Let us choose for negative energy and thoughts not to consume our minds. Help us by your spirit to purify our tongues, not to speak ill against any brother or sister. May all bitterness, resentment, hatred, prejudice, malice, jealousy and pride flee in Jesus' name. Help us experience your unconditional love at this very moment and be able to spread it like wildfire across the nation. Cleanse our minds, bodies and spirits as we go out to represent you, Lord, in love's purest form. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality. In Jesus' holy and precious name we pray. Amen. <laughs>